It's time for the Giz Wiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1582, recorded Thursday, August 4th, 2016. Flushed with excitement. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dick's got more from that sweet, sweet blogger bash. I have an extra crappy gadget this week. It's the new month, so a new theme. And Alexis shows us how to get those smartwatches super duper cheap. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now it is time for the Gizwiz and here he is, the maestro of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And you? I am doing fantastic. It's been uh, good. Good week. I just, I just got my hair cut. Feel all fresh. Wow. Yeah. I got mine, mine cut too. Believe it or not, I do get my hair cut, even though there's do very little. Do you go to little. a barber or do you just do No, that? I just call Dennis. So I go, Dennis, bring down the buzzer. <laughs> It's gotta be. You have to use some sort of crazy gadget. You just not a normal buzzer, is it? Uh, No, it's sort of. uh, It's uh, not like uh, a buzzer vacuum combo. No, I wish I had that. That has LEDs and an iPad holder case built in. Mm -hmm. You know, I just got to start looking for something like that. We might need to make make our own and sell them. Well, I keep a little um, uh, a uh, little vacuum cleaner in my lap. So uh, as the hair falls, I have to go wham, wham. I catch it. Wah, wah. So it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. It's like a clipping back. We'll, we'll come up with that's it. It's a new clipping back. Clipping back. There you go. Yeah. Well, oh, no, wait a minute. Didn't they have? Uh, I think they may do, have. Do you had remember the, similar Yes, to this. yes. Sharon, what was the name of the gadget? The fl- was it the Floby that? I think it was a hair cutter that you plugged into your vacuum cleaner. Floby Anybody? is is something that's uh, yeah, that's I think that's it. There you go, the Floby. Uh, oh, I did get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, you got you. There's no memory loss uh, there. That's amazing that you remember that. <laughs> it's the Floby. Yeah, no, Carl, I did remember that. Oh my yes. gosh, testimonials. I hear all the fantastic people that use the Floby. Oh, oh, are they still selling it? I don't I, I order. Let's try. Let's yeah, try. $70 mini vac not included. Not included. Oh my gosh. Well, for, uh, I know for 70 bucks, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. Wow. But, yeah. So there you go. There's the, uh, the Floby. The Floby. Oh, you know what? Today, for the first time, I used my One Fast. Do you remember that brand name? <clears throat> I'm trying to remember the one fast. One fast. Yeah. And How you I have memory. I'm the one with memory problems. Yeah, you are because uh, it was your gadget three weeks ago. Uh, I mean it's a stupid it's a stupid yeah. name. The one fast Bluetooth glasses. Oh yes. The, okay, yes. These I mean, guys. I don't know how they ever came up with that. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I use it's it for the stylish. first time today. I gotta tell you. Uh, using those three buttons for 19 different functions uh, <laughs> is a bit of a problem. Yeah, and, and I told you the, the buttons don't quite make sense to me. The, the forward button is the one on the, the furthest one behind you, or you yes. know, compared. Yes. I would think if I was going to go forward, I'd click the button that was forward of all the other buttons. You, so, you would think. You would think. One. Right. And, and also, you only have a volume control on one side, right? I don't think I have a volume control at all. I don't have, yeah, I don't have a volume control. Uh, okay. Right. Well, uh, fortunately, I, I lost a little sheet. You know, when you order these things in Japan, you get a sheet that is usually about the size of a postage stamp. Yeah. With the instructions. So I typed in online. Let me see. Uh, hey, this one, half of mine is not in the correct length. La- Actually, a fourth. Oh, well, you have an instruction sheet. How much of this is not in English? Okay, that's none of this is in English. Okay. This is look. in French. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, I think no, you there told you go. it. Okay. Now, look on it. Doesn't it show two volume controls, one on each frame? 
No, mine doesn't have a volume control at all. Oh, okay. Mine, uh, uh, mine just has. Uh, oh, that is a little, little bit bright. Uh, no, mine only has uh, has LED. It, it doesn't have a volume control at all. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I went to China Vision and, and typed in uh, one fast sunglasses, and and the instructions came up, but they're they're almost. Uh, stupid because it shows the volume control on both sides of the glasses, which I don't think it has. And and I, I hate it when they use one button for like ninety things. Uh, yeah. According according to this, it's like to answer go to the next is play. Yeah, yes. To yeah. go to the to, to go to the next song, use this. To answer the phone, use the same button. Use this. To lower the volume, use this. So I was trying to change uh, tunes today, and I. I called somebody's number. It dialed my phone. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. My glasses called uh, called yeah. you. So I don't even know if we have the same product because mine is just the BT glasses. Oh, man. This is too, too bright. I cannot see anything on here. You know, it's entirely possible. I ordered them uh, from w when we did the show. I ordered them that day. But I have an idea that they use the same instruction sheet for like 97 different. Yes. Oh, you say music. Music, glasses. musical glasses. They're so musical. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Anyway, but for, for playing music at the gym, they're really great. They're really great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the, uh, the, the one fast music Lee BT glasses, who knows what they're all named. Uh, yeah, those, those guys. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that, uh, that you got a pair, though. At you least. know what? Uh, I was watching the chat room when you did it. I, I think about five or six of us bought them. Yeah. Um, as you were talking about them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Does uh, um, d anybody else have uh, any stories? I'd love to know them from the chat room. Send them over in a letter. That'd be great. Uh, oh, and you know, I found something neat. You know, I, I uh, often wear magnifiers. Mm -hmm. And what I found out, remember a couple of weeks ago, I did uh, these thin optic things. Right. Which okay. can be used on either front, like you could flip them around. And yes, you can, yes. You know, but amazing. Chad, what's, what's neat about them is I can wear, I'll take my glasses off for a second. I can wear these like this. Put my Bluetooth glasses on, <laughs> and then I'm wearing magnifiers underneath, that, underneath that nobody can see. Oh, that's interesting. And I uh, use my my Bluetooth one fast. Uh, anyway, so that that's great. They yeah. uh, it, because they don't have a. Uh, I don't know what you call that, that little piece that goes behind your ear, and they're so thin and small. Yeah, exactly. They exactly. fit right behind the lenses of the other glasses. Yeah. Wow. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Uh, anything else that's going on this week? Yeah, we should we just jump right jump in? Let's jump into some, some gadgets. Okay, so uh, this is week two of uh, Sweet 16, Blogger Bash. That was uh, this great uh, tech toy show that was telling a look at uh, the Majesty Yacht. The Majestic, is it the Majesty? No, the Majesty Yacht uh, in New York Harbor, and I have three more toy finds there. And the first one is great because I'm also putting together a spot uh, in the next 10 days for ABC News looking for back-to-school kind of uh, offbeat gadgets. And I found one at Blogger Bash, and this is it. Hey, Dick T. Bartolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at Sweet Sweet. You know, we've done this every year now for like the past four years. My dental bill is like $1,000. There's candy everywhere. We're at the Bixby booth. And what attracted me to that is Lewis is wearing a, Lewis, turn your face away from the camera so we can see this little backpack. It has LED light up wings, wings. Oh but God. it's more than just a toy. It's an actual backpack and it's a backpack with a purpose. And Lewis is going to tell us exactly what that purpose is. Uh, so Lewis, tell us about the Bixby backpack. Sure, we're a backpack and accessory company for kids, and for every backpack we sell, we donate a school bag with supplies to a kid in need, here in the U.S. and around the world. Does it matter what model you buy? Do you do it for every backpack? For every backpack sold. This yeah. is really great, and, and there's, there's pencils and pens and stuff yeah. in it? 
We partner with nonprofit organizations locally and abroad, and the bag is a vehicle for other supplies. So other corporations team up with us. So we donate school supplies, uh, hygiene, hygienic material, blankets, socks, whatever the kids need in those locations. That is really a wonderful thing, and we're looking at uh, the girls' version with a different set of light-up wings. She's more of an angel or a fairy. fairy flyer. It's a fairy flyer. Okay, and your wings are? Space racer. Space racer, okay. And this is their nun-lighted uh, backpacks, which are also very pretty. This guy is great. The owl is great. So this is something to look for, uh, and it's B-I-X-B-E-E dot com. Okay, that's their website. So if you're looking for back-to-school stuff, this is a way to go because you're pleasing your own child, but you're helping a child in need, too. So it's excellent. Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Medist Writer, and the GizWiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. i got to get one of those. <laughs> I also like, it feels like that's a nice security feature almost. You have a kid walking around at night. Everyone's going to see that blanking backpack, you know? Yes! Get hit on uh, if you're, you know, on a bicycle when it's a little bit dark or something. No, like that. that 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 that's an excellent thought. That's, that's an excellent thought. Uh, and I, mean, I uh, wish I was a kid again. These backpacks oh, look so cool. They are really great. And I didn't realize I was talking to a Lewis, and uh, the CEO of the company is Lewis, and I, I'm assuming it was the same guy who was at the show, and. and he was saying that when, when you were a kid, you would put on your backpack and and to them, it was like almost putting on a magic cape. Oh, yeah. So w with that in mind, he tried to uh, create very inventive, fun things for kids to uh, put on their backs. So, I, I love these. I love the owl. I love I love a lot of these. The owl, there's the fox, the elephant. Uh, these are the they're, ones that are non-light up, but exactly. we're not even to the light up ones. That's the next page. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and then they have a, a wing version without lights. Yeah. And, uh, which is uh, up there. They're, they're, they're very, very clever. Very and, clever. Uh, and not crazy expensive. This uh, no. backpack that he was uh, uh, carrying around was $43. I bet you money that that would probably go down if you if you searched around. I'm not... 100% sure. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure either, but um, you, you need to put in two uh, AA batteries, and then it can do steady flash, uh, a steady on, or fast flash, or slow flash. Uh, flash. They're, they're just very clever. They're really very clever. Yeah, I, I agree. Those are really cool. Uh, that might be something for Christmas uh, that I keep in mind if I uh, have to get... Uh, a young family member, uh, yes. a gift. That's a uh, that's a pretty neat gift, uh, yeah. gift to give. I know, and I like their. Uh, they, they call their mission. Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, I'm looking for it here. I think it's buy one give one. One here, one there. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. One here, one there. Uh, it's it's very clever. It's very clever. And then the, what goes into the bag depends on what the needs are in the area where. They they uh, give the bags to the kids. I think it's just a wonderful idea. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. That's really cool. So uh, it was Bixby, Bixby Bix backpacks, Bixby. And and yeah, and Bixby is their little logo. That's the Bixby. There, there it is. Uh, right there. <laughs> so it is spelled B B E E B I X B E E for the audio e listeners. Exactly. So uh, okay. that's a cool. That's cool. And that a, what a great back to school gadget. That'll yeah. be perfect on uh, on. Was it Good Morning America? ABC. Uh, it's going to be for World News World Now. World News Now. There you go. Uh, so that's perfect. That's a uh, great. Yeah, I part. will. I will be showing uh, the, uh, those in a couple weeks. Perfect. Okay, science for girls. Science are, for girls. Okay, let's go back to the majestic and look at something for girls. Bobby now has a STEM kit. So first of all, Andrew, tell us what STEM stands for. Science, technology, engineering, and math. And you know that some people think it should be STEAM? I do. I do. And, and STEAM, uh, the A is? Art. Art. 
art, and okay. art is very important, and art plays an important part in science, of course, and in everyday life. So, you know, through science, you learn a lot. It is our and first venture into the land of Barbie. Yep. Um, it's a science kit geared towards the Barbie customer, um, where we kind of took science and brought it to where the Barbie customer already is. So, in the Barbie world, with, with fashion and play. Can you um, show us uh, uh, where, where see all these little videos, uh, not videos, all these models on the table, and tell us what a couple of them are. Sure. So it's a story-based kit, and the idea was what we sat down and we said, so what do girls want to do with the dream house, right? What are they, the dream house is very popular in the Barbie world, and we figured one of the, one of the things that they're very common is um, with fashion play, so we said, you know what, how can we make fashion play a little more fun and more engineering, so let's build an automated spinning closet rack. So this automatic closet spinner take... Well, wait a minute, automated, I was turning it by hand. Yes, and it will connect to the bar to the Dreamhouse motor, oh. so you can run it manually or with the motor in the Dreamhouse. Okay. Oh, are you impressed that I that I learned how to turn this handle? I am. <laughs> so look, if you turn it, it teaches about gears. It teaches about gear ratios, and you could change the gear ratio to make it spin faster or to make it spin slower. Okay. And this this gear driven device. So this teaches about gear trains, and it's a shoe rack. And this guy teaches Bobby to be a model? <laughs> so it's a dress designer platform. It's one kit. You make uh, seven different models with the kit, and you do ten different experiments. So after you build the different... Um, after you, you, you build them one at a time. You build them one at a time, that's correct. So after you build the, uh, the closet rack and the shoe rack and the dress designer platform and the, and the greenhouse and the jewelry holder and the washing machine, you then, at the end of the day, Barbie and Nikki are very tired, and they build a hammock with a automatic leaf fan to relax at the end of a long day. Uh, the price point? Uh, $30 retail. Oh, that's very good. And everything you see here uh, is included to build these kits one at a time. That's right. Here's an example of the chroma experiment. This is real. All my own handkerchiefs from now on. Dickie Writer in the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv. Bye. Sorry for the glitchiness. That's on our end. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Uh, that's <laughs> that was, no, no one's internet connection's going down. And that's just us. Uh, that is very, very, very interesting. Uh, I'm loving the the science angle that I've been seeing in uh, in a lot of kid gadgets. Uh, to bring that all together. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. A absolutely. And, and also, uh, you know, it gets kids away from Pokemon for a couple of hours. Right. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's kind of clever that, they, that uh, and I like the idea that you suddenly learn that, you know, I don't even know. So the big gear would make the, the rack spin yeah slow slower right <laughs> so uh i you know we are learning something so yeah gears work because uh you're it's basically like a lever where it, the longer uh the lever is the easier it is to move something but the slower that thing moves so the wider the gear uh it also depends on where your force is coming from but if the force is coming from the edge of the gear Yes, it would move slower. But if the force was coming from the middle of the gear, it would move faster because the the lever of the gear would uh, would increase the you know the, the the speed. So, yeah, depending on how you you know make your setup work, uh, it could be actually easier for you because you're using the gear as a lever to uh, move the you know carousel along, or it might be harder for you, but it is a lot faster. So wow! Yeah, wow. someone someone in the chat room says, "What were you a physics teacher in the past <laughs> life?" No, I love uh, as a kid. I loved pulleys. Pulleys for some oh, reason. Oh, okay. Uh, they blew my mind. And uh, pulley system, gear system, like the shifter in your car, all of that is using basically the same type of technology that you're you're either spreading out force on a long distance. So either that be a very wide gear or a very long rope with a pulley and that sort of stuff, um, and, or uh, you know, there's, so it's, it's all it's all basically about uh, levers. Where if you're trying to get something, you know, up off of a table, if you if you have a long distance in your lever, 
uh, that makes it easier versus if it's if it's shorter like this, which would make it actually more difficult to to pull. Yeah, out. I, I I learned about a little about it when we were trying to jockey around a uh, what was it a a hundred and. 75 horsepower uh, outboard that was on the back of my houseboat and I said to to this guy Bob Kyler who's like a genius and I said how are we going to get this up on the roof and he said we'll get a pulley system and I said yep. what are you sure he's, yeah yeah exactly and it, and it, it he, feels like magic when you yes. try to pull it up so hard and then Be you get your pulley what, what, system and you're just all yes. this rope is coming out of nowhere, but now it's all it's so simple to pull something up. Yeah. Exactly. And we're talking about an engine that weighed like 400 pounds. This yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I love I, pulleys were so amazing to me. I, it's funny. I never actually did a, a project on pulleys, uh, but uh, like a science fair project or anything like that. But I was so fascinated with them. And I remember uh, back, we had these. Um, they were they were these orbs that had um, some some had different things in it. Some would have a motor. Some would have uh, gears. Some would have just a straight rod. And you would connect them together and make some sort of system. We've actually shown uh, this on the Gizwiz. I just can't tell you. My memory. Oh, is, the is worst. it like little, little? Is it like little bits? No, the little bits was electronic. Uh, little bits was electronic. Right. Um, I I can't remember the the name uh, of these things, but they were circular, and each uh, axis, so you know uh, X, Y, and Z had a had another connector that you could connect another orb to. Uh, someone's saying connects, but it wasn't. It's not connects. Um, anyway, I, there was I literally had like you know a seven year old breakthrough that <laughs> there there were these gears, and you would put a motor on one side of the gear. And the other one would spin super fast. And I could not figure out why that was happening. But the orbs were actually clear, so you could see the gears. Oh, and I, I remember see. understanding it. But I also remember that if you flipped it around, it wouldn't spin at all. And it wasn't until, like, you know, a month later or something, playing with these things, that I realized that it was just so difficult that the motor couldn't even push. It could spin, just the motor couldn't push the gears because... Uh, the transfer of power just was too great, and it couldn't even it couldn't do anything. Cap there, Capsellas, Capsellas, Bleak has found it. These things, I'm I'm I became obsessed with Capsellas. Oh oh oh, okay. And oh look, my. that's the this one isn't the gear one. Uh, that one would would transfer the motion to all four uh, little quadrants there. Uh, but yeah, this was it, Capsellas. Uh, this was a battery pack, and you use these wires to plug it into the motor. And oh my gosh, I loved these things. Uh, and they were so expensive, we couldn't afford them. So <laughs> it was like we got one set from a garage sale, and um, and then it wasn't until like two years later that we found another set in a garage sale. And I was so happy um that uh i got like an extra set of capsellas um wow yeah it's so funny what what and it's an it's an amazing what a back what a scientific background led you to a world of podcasting <laughs> i know but also it makes me really appreciate the toys that we're talking about right now yes you know is you know seeing something like this as an adult you might say well that that's not gonna you know oh they're gonna have fun they're gonna you know make a few things but then they're gonna forget about it it's not gonna change anyone's lives these little toys uh, you know that changed my life i really uh learned a ton and and loved experimenting with these stupid little toys so you you know fat flash forward and we're looking at barbie kits about science i think that these can work i really have a have a a, a good feeling that Something uh, kids could really learn from uh, a system like this, and and really learn something cool. And so I'm 100 percent on board with the science and and technology toy uh, craze. So so yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna do one kit. more. Not not so much STEM, just kind of fun. So let's look at our final gadgets from Blogabash. 
Hey, Dick DiBartolo, Man's Mad is trying to end the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're still at Sweet Sweet 16, Blogger Bash, and we're here at Mag Formers, Intelligent Magnetic Construction. Usually Intelligent and Gizwiz don't go together, but I'm walking by the booth and I see this weird form, and we're going to ask Rebecca what this is. So this is one of our building sets we have. You can make a car out of the magformers. You can make a car out of this? Yes, you can. I defy you to make a car out of this. So we're going to add the wheels on, and uh, it'll stick right on there. And you can make a bunch of different cars with this. And uh, it's a little... Oh, it, it is a car. But yeah, it'll roll around, and you can make a bunch of different forms with it. We'll give you a bunch of ideas in the instruction guide. And uh, they're totally magnetic, and you can turn and twist the pieces any way you like. This is the Ninja together. Turtle kit. Uh, the same idea, but it also has Ninja Turtle squares, and you can also take apart and put back together. Okay, and, and the, the uh, kit here that we made the car with, what does that retail for? I believe that's around seventy nine ninety nine. Okay, and do you have any idea how many magnetic parts might be in a kit? I believe that would be around 55 to 60. Oh, okay, yeah. so you can build, you can either follow the directions in the kit or just go wild on your own? Yeah, and the best part is all these magnets fit together too, so if you want to have other kits and you can use the magnets from those as well. Oh, that is really a great idea. And the name of the company is? Magformers. Magformers. And why do they call it 3D brain training? Because that's what you're doing? Yeah, you're making things 3D. It's helping you use your creativity and your STEM skills to educate and learn. And then you don't have to turn out to be someone like me. Dick T. Bartolo, Man's Man is right and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Still on the Hudson River. Bye. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so Mag Formers, they, the Mag, company Mag, has, a, has a video out. Uh, yeah, and you know what? Uh, just... Uh, I, I sent you a link to the to the uh, robot thing. Just just go in like at a minute or something because it's kind of interesting how fast the guy builds these things and then it walks. Okay. It's kind of a wonky walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is kind of a wonky walk. <laughs> so here he is building it. Snap, snap, snap. So there's magnets in each corner? Is that what's every, every edge? Uh, uh, every side of every piece, I believe, is a magnet, and they're what? Neodymium, I think it is? Oh, yeah, yeah, the very strong earth magnets. Exactly, I mean, yeah. exactly. Neodymium, I forget <laughs> what they're called, uh, too. Yeah, um, I'm probably mispronouncing them. Um, but the interesting thing about this, Chad, is, oh, there's, there's the, the walking lady robot, is that evidently this company has a lot of trouble with knockoffs. So, <laughs> so go, go to that other link. And there's a, a counterfeit page. Beware. Beware, first. Chad. J just go down to the company names. The Mag Magic. Mag Mag Magic. Neoformer. Right. What? Max Formers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, is this I even news? I New Island. Is this even like a thing that? Yeah, look at New Island, Phoenix, New Island review. Hey guys, it's me, Cubics, and today's series. So look at. Uh, is this really a big? But even then, I've only gotten three or four twists. I'm confused. How is? Yeah, no, they. Uh, you're absolutely uh, right. I'm I not quite know. sure why they're calling that. I don't know, maybe it's I, 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 I can understand things like a company that, that calls itself Max Formers. Well, oh, yeah, go to Max Formers Max and see how, Formers. how close it is. Because it, uh, the real company is Mag Formers, and they said beware of... Yeah, that looks pretty... Uh... Well, did you so, mean Mag Formers? No, we no. meant Max Formers. Let's make oh, sure. That, no, search instead for Max Formers. That's what I want, uh, Max uh, Formers. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> this uh, beware of counterfeits, Dick. <laughs> you, we may in fact be buying. Wait a minute. Yeah. A Russian uh, dolly. Uh, <laughs> be, beware. That is a riot. I don't know. I, you I don't know, get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't exactly get it either. Uh, 
but beware, I guess. Anyway, you know, I yeah. was wondering. There's some products that it seems like counterfeit products just explode about. You know, yes. Uh, you, some of them, it it's all over the place, and others they never. You know, it'd be great if there was a cheaper option, but there just aren't. I always wonder if maybe there was some scenario where. The, you know, the original company went to basically the wrong factory and that factory stole the plans and went and made a whole bunch or whatever. Um, I wonder why there's so many. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure either. For some products um, and not yeah. for others. But, you know, t- today what we have is different in as much as a company in China and I don't know exactly if there's a trade show that other companies go to, but I am amazed at like CES is I'll, I'll find an, a, a gadget and I'll go, this is really unique. And then I'll walk five booths down and it's a totally different company name. It's the same, yeah. Yeah. exact same gadget. Yeah. The, by and, the way, Mag Magic. Uh, so I realized that their their list. At first, for some reason, I thought it was an alphabetical. It's not. So it's probably the worst people to the to not so bad. Oh, Mag okay. Magic. This looks exactly. So they definitely have. And this product has eighty three reviews on Amazon. People love this product. This is oh, not my. Mag Formers. This is Mag Magic. Yeah. Now that that is a real. Not that is a real knockoff. Yeah, uh, yeah. Assuming Holy that. Cow. Uh, oh, you see, I, I, I can see. So, yeah, I see so a little bit of the difference there. now. It, it it seems like they're lo- using like magnet pieces, right, to hold the things together. Where I think uh, Mag Formers uses. Mag and I'm, Magic has quite a few of these. There's Mag Formers right there, and then there's I, Mag Magic here. Does this not okay. look exactly like what you just showed off? Yes. So, yeah, beware of uh, knockoffs, folks. That is that is very bizarre. Anyway. <laughs> it is very bizarre. Anyway, so kids learn how to build toys and learn about lawsuits and legal <laughs> and legal action and, and trademarks <laughs> and trademarks. No, it's a riot. That it's is riot. pretty funny. Okay. Uh, moving on, we don't have a... Uh, yes! A, no, we don't have an ad, an but ad. Chad, <laughs> now I do not know. It is August. That it means is. there's a new theme for Chad's Oop. crappy corner. Oop. Hopefully you that'll play. There you go. Need it, but you might want it at Oop. Chad's Oop. Oop. crappy corner. Get it. Get it. Okay, so uh, for the crappy corner... The results are in, and Smart Home Gadgets has uh, taken it away with over what were the What were the other options? We had water gadgets. We had yard gadgets, which in the beginning was winning. Uh, and then we have productivity gadgets. Uh, but Smart Home Gadgets uh, took it away. So uh, I'm excited because uh, there's some pretty crappy Smart Home Gadgets <laughs> out there. Uh, that I've actually already seen um, a few of them and ordered a few of them. So uh, this actually, uh, you know, the first thing that I do whenever I, I you know, can tell that one of these uh, these categories is going uh, going to win, the very first thing I do is uh, just go to Amazon and type in whatever the theme is, right? Smart home, um, oh, okay. and just see if there's something that catches my eye. Normally, I I ignore this because it's probably something everyone's seen or anything like that uh so but this time i just typed in smart home on all on amazon and and scrolling down i saw something that looked a little bit like the gizwiz it's the glow bowl motion oh the glow bowl let's say they play that on uh, new year's eve don't they oh yeah 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 the the big new york glow bowl yeah yeah when they lower the the toilet from the sky um so i just i had to buy it i had to find out what this thing was why did it have four thousand customer reviews uh and three uh 3.6 stars so some people didn't like it um but it, it just seemed Seemed like some so. some people weren't bowled over by it. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you they put a lid on that, a toilet lid. <laughs> um, 
So I got the glow bowl in. Uh, it, uh, it's pretty simple. The idea is that it has a motion detector and a light sensor on uh, the device that sits outside of the toilet. And then oh, okay. whenever it is dark and it detects motion, it will turn on a little LED light. Uh, and so that will light up the bowl of your toilet. And I'm not sure if this is even going to work here. Here we go. You can kind of see. I've already added the batteries uh, into this one. Uh, now, okay. I wanted to use this on an actual toilet. We don't have a toilet on stage. Your, your new house does not have a toilet? Not in, Well, not not in the bedroom area. Oh, um, oh okay. Somewhere yes. in your house. I'm yeah. going to get one installed, though. I think, right, I think this needs to be the real crappy corner uh, <laughs> eventually. So... Uh, I went ahead and recorded a little video, so oh, nice. here we are. Hey, Dickie D, uh, so I am here in the, uh, in the toilet room, um, and I have the glow bowl. So first we're going to attach the glow bowl to the toilet, and the first thing it says to do is to set the glow bowl on the side of the toilet and then kind of bend this over and then take it off, and then you can bend it even a little bit more. There you go, to make a, uh, basically a good hook onto the side of the bowl. Then you just lay that there. I've already turned on the batteries and, and whatnot. Uh, and the idea is when the lights get to, get turned off. Here we go, I'll turn off some lights. Close this door. That bright, that bright sunlight might be rough. So we'll close that off. Right, but you can kind of fake it. Um, by taking your hand and just covering up the sensor. Oh, and there you go. wow! You can see that the, uh, the oh, that's a riot. Is glowing. So, what does this look like inside? Well, there you go. Huh. Holy and you can choose different colors. So, if you want a different color, there's blue, red, green, different green, and white. And uh, you can kind of see what it uh, what it looks like there. Once again. Covered up at night. It's not. It's not night enough in this room. It, uh, the sun is, is too bright. Um, but there you go. There you have it. Nice, convenient way. So, so, now so it Chad, mentions that uh, you can do change brightness settings. Let me click and hold on this. I don't know how you wow. can change brightness settings at all. Um, going through. I don't know. Does it turn colors exactly if, if you, you play you music? <laughs> I wish. I use it. That's. That's just as bright as it is outside What's the bowl. crazy is Not outside, it doesn't look so that bright. The bowl makes it even brighter. I shouldn't have rubbed that against my face. Oh uh, yeah, that's it from the toilet room in the, the <laughs> OMG Studios. <laughs> so, uh, that's a little video. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with this guy. So, yeah. I still haven't figured out, it mentions um, on the back, that I can, and on the front and on the in instructions, that you can change the brightness settings of the LED. And I, for the life of me, it's not mentioned in the instructions how you do that. Uh, but <laughs> also, Chad, shouldn't it, should should it be on the front of the bowl? Uh, it's got it. It sort of has to face the door. It can, right? yeah, I guess uh, the. The, the, uh, normally, so how motion detectors work is it basically sends out an IR field, and if that field changes uh, within a certain amount of, uh, of a ratio, it'll, it'll turn on. So I think that a, to a, a room with a toilet inside of it would be small enough that uh, it'll be able to detect a movement basically anyway, because it, can, oh, it okay. can bounce off yeah. walls and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, so it has seven colors. It does say it has a five-stage dimmer, which I still have not figured out how to how to how to dim. Uh, it has a water-resistant seal around uh, the the edge here of the uh, of the battery cap, so it's a little bit water-resistant. It, it requires three AAA batteries uh, to run. Um, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's pretty. It's not. It's not too I, bad. I think. I think that you're also getting a hundred percent from the chat room for the cleanliness of your bathroom. <laughs> I'm glad. You know, you, you got a you got a new house. Hopefully, the bathroom's uh, nice. Oh, it, oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> I think I missed the whole other side of these instructions. Oh, okay. Uh, it says, how do I change the color? Got that. How do I set it in carousel mode? 
pressing and releasing the button until the LED blinks, you will notice that the colors in the rotation blink now that you're in carousel mode. So that, that should be carousel mode. How do I change the brightness? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's carouseling between uh, different uh, colors. Unfortunately, I think that this, <laughs> this set is too darn bright. Uh, for this to ever uh, activate uh, here on this set, but uh, it was uh, switching between colors. It's not like a nice. Oh, fade. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, step one: press and release the button to turn on the light. Step two: while the light is on, press and hold the button until it blinks. Now you're in dimmer mode. Continuously press and until cycle through the dimmer. What? Okay, now I'm in dimmer mode. Continuously. Oh. Oh, you did it. Yeah, there you go. That is very complicated. And why isn't it the color that I originally chose? Okay, so that's brightest. Uh, you know, less less bright, less bright, less bright. Um, I'm I was actually amazed. Um, and then how do I stop it? Once you have the desired, stop pressing the button, and it will blink after five seconds to l let you know. Oh, just blink uh, that it's done. Um, what do, uh, wh what does it blink, why does it blink red when it activates? It's a low battery indicator, so it's a low battery indicator. Oh, okay, indicator. okay. Uh, and then why is the cover so tight? Well, that's, of course, to, to stop uh, water and other debris from get, getting okay. inside. Okay. So, that's the Glow Bowl, uh, a very simple smart home gadget to make your home just a little bit smarter. Um, what do you think? I don't. Uh, I think it's. I think it's clever. I, think I like so the too. idea. I think so too. Um, if if you're, uh, you know, the type that that uh, either the bathroom light might wake up a spouse, or you just want to have a party in the bathroom, uh, this seems like <laughs> a uh, perfect gadget. It's uh, not too expensive, only coming in at around $15, 15 dollars yeah. $16. The only, the only thing is if you have kids in the family, they'll get up nine times during the night. I want to see the, <laughs> I want to see the toilet light go on. Let's see the toilet bowl light. Um, there we go. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And somehow the bowl, the, the toilet bowl actually seems to amplify the light. I, it I, does. <laughs> it really makes that. it quite bright. And it almost looks like a swimming pool. I know. I mean, it, it's uh, it's very posh now. Um, wow. So yeah, there's the uh, the <laughs> glow bowl uh, available at Amazon. Oh, there's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, available at Amazon, uh, and uh, it, this was uh, also Prime. So that is Amazon's uh, prediction of uh, what a good smart home gadget. Uh, should be for $15.99 on Amazon. Okay, that about wraps it up for this uh, this uh, get, uh, you know crappy corner. We got uh, Smart Home Month for the rest of this month. So, Yay! Yeah. Moving on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Foghorn And our letter, our email starts with Hello Dick and Chad My gadget is the digital wallet It lets Ooh. you copy files off of a memory card And store them on its internal 6 gigabyte hard drive Whoa. well we'll watch the video and then i'll read the rest of the letter because i think he explains it and uh, wait a second this is from eric matt so eric here's your viewer video hello dick and chad so this is my digital wallet by made by minds at work now, what is it? what's in here <laughs> we have a little dongle connector It looks like a thing. SATA connector. You yeah, old, a old, old. Port. Uh, compact flash <laughs> adapter. Okay, okay. Now what's in here? That Velcro and leather never gets <laughs> old. So this is a digital wallet. It lets you take pictures off of your compact flash card. 
and store them on its built-in hard drive. I got this, uh, what does it be, <laughs> around 2002, 2001? Has that look about it? So it has a 5 gigabyte hard drive in it. I got it so when I was traveling, I didn't have to carry my laptop computer with me, and I didn't have to buy expensive compact flash cards. I believe at the time, compact flash cards were selling for around a dollar a megabyte. So you could get a one gigabyte card, but it was a thousand dollars. I mostly had 64 gigabyte, sorry, 64 megabyte megabytes. Cards. Yes. So you could store a whole bunch of them on this hard drive. I used it for on a couple of trips, and then ended up putting it in storage because, well. Compact flashcards are so cheap that why would you have something that's five, <laughs> um, only five gigabytes? I'm not sure what the 10 means. It could have been a 10 gigabyte, but I doubt it. So I'm not sure why you have to have this extra adapter here to plug in to get you your USB and your power input. Why they couldn't build those into the device, who knows. Um, one interesting thing is this is only USB 1, so you're limited to USB 1 speed, which is what, 12 megabits per second? <laughs> Very um, slow. So it's really slow getting files on and off this thing, uh, but really it's an archive your stuff for a while, then, then transfer a big batch and who cares if you have to wait a while. Um, it doesn't work as an external hard drive because of the slow speed. Well, actually, it doesn't work at all right now because um, you could open it up, but the uh, circuit board inside is all corroded and doesn't power on. So it is broken. I haven't had the heart to throw it out. Yeah, I the can't remember what I paid gadget for. Gadget Warehouse. Yes. I think it was a couple hundred bucks, but I do remember the company went out of business shortly after I bought it. So that's always a good sign. Uh, so. <laughs> digital wallet made by minds at work wow what an now <laughs> now would you like to guess at what the digital wallet cost because ed did a web search and he found the cnet review of digital wallet oh, it's from 2001 so it's 15 years ago so what do you think so it what do you say it was a five gigabyte hard drive right yeah Five gigabyte oh. hard drive. Uh, you need the. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, if 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 a if a gigabyte flash card right cost a thousand dollars, and you had a five gigabyte spinning drive, I would say this is like a five hundred dollar thing. Well, you got it exactly right. I'll just read a little bit here. Uh, so CNET ends the review by saying, the only big problem is the $499 price tag. Uh, however, a digital wallet is more versatile than flash media, even if you use it as a portable hard drive to tote big files. Despite its price, you get more bang for the buck than you get by buying several spare memory cards. Wow. So memory wow. cards were buying memory cards is more expensive than buying this 5 gigabyte digital wallet for $499. <laughs> this is 15 years ago. This is amazing. Isn't yeah, it? this is sick. this this one was published July 20th, 2000. This is DP Review Digital Photography Review talking about uh, the digital wallet at a max storage capacity of six gigabytes. <laughs> uh, this is and, and, amazing. Yes. And, and, and you started to say it. I, I might have cut you off. I think you were going to say this is, the, this is the typical Dick's Gadget Warehouse device. Oh, yeah. Where it's something you own. It doesn't even work. Right. But, but you can't throw it out. You can't throw it out because it's like so weird. 
And so expensive. He thinks he paid a couple hundred dollars for it. Maybe he didn't remember or doesn't want to remember. Uh, he paid 500 or 500 might have been the list. And by the time he bought it, they, oh, he, he has the deluxe version where they went from solid to that. Remember, everything was see through blue. Oh, plastic. God, this, this all, was so zip, popular. All the, the zip drives. I remember when zip drive came out with the see through blue plastic zip. Drive. It, it reminds me of in, in like 2005, 2007, everything was polished black plastic. Yes. Everything was yes. polished black plastic plastic yes. um and this is the same sort of, of thing and then before that it was beige it was that beige uh, tower yes. Every, everything, beige everything had, a, everything. had a match the uh, ibm computers yes yeah. yes yeah wow. and, and usb one i mean the thing is you want to copy things you uh, you plugged it in before you went to bed this is amazing. I I am uh look at their <laughs> look at their software. Oh my gosh, Dude, this brings back memories of the neon software that you would have to use on some of these products. I mean just why on earth would anyone decide what UI designer let's have gigantic <laughs> buttons <laughs> yes made out of Oh my kid pick software. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. What a great gadget. Uh <laughs> yeah, super. Super. So uh Eric Matt, if you live in the US or Canada, uh email me again with your address. You'll get the October issue. You'll be among the first to get the October issue of Mad Magazine. And uh you'll also get uh, one of those I forget how many years old it is by now. 28 to 33 years uh, old, Alfred E. Newman Pictures. By the way, and, sorry yes. to interrupt, but uh, in 16 years, the price has not changed a bit. You can oh, that's so still funny. buy one on Amazon sent over by Bleak. <laughs> you can buy one brand new in the box. Oh, but Chad, it went up to 20 gigabytes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 20 gigabytes. Gray wow. and black. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Now, my <laughs> duo, my, my Kingston duo drive was 18 and change for 64 gigabytes. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that a riot? I remember buying the original iPod uh, 20 gigabyte click wheel black and white edition. That was $399, something like that. And I yeah. was ecstatic. I loved that thing. Yeah. yeah. The Atari 800. I had the first Atari 800 that came with, I believe it might have been 16K. And I remember the book said whatever it was, 16K or 32, I think it was 16K. The book said, 16K is more than enough memory for anything you can conceive of doing. Ever. However, <laughs> if you wanted to add 8K more, there is an expansion slot, and you can do that for just $100 more. Governments can run off of 16K. Oh, my I mean, goodness. Nuclear reactors are running off of 16K. Why would you need anything else? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, did you ever see that 60 Minutes piece about our missile system? No. It's, I, it's, that's it's, scary. It, it's, like, it's, like, it's like running off floppy disks. And 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 uh, I, I bet they're who, like, you know what? We're fine with it. It can't be hacked. You that, know? Is exact, <laughs> that is exact. That is exactly. Nobody's right. getting in. Nobody's that's, writing scuzzy interface protocol. That's exactly right. We have no way to get any information out of this silo, and no one has any way to get information into the silo. We just hope we don't run out of floppy disks. It's a riot. <laughs> <laughs> but later on, the government's the only creator of floppy disks in the world <laughs> just to keep their missile infrastructure yeah. running. Oh, my gosh. Okay, sorry. I interrupted you. Oh, no, you that's okay. So, uh, uh, Eric, Matt, uh, email me uh, and, and send us more videos. We, we do have a couple more in-house. But we, these things are just great. Uh, it can be uh, I bought a piece of crap. 
if if you have a crappy gadget that fits in with Chad's theme, Woo-hoo, do that. Yeah. Uh, you know, pretty much anything you think we'll find interesting. Two to three minute video and put it on YouTube. Click it, click unlisted. Okay, that way only people with the link like us will be able to uh, view it. It won't be in public uh, domain or, or a, a public view. And email it to mail at gizwiz.tv. And we would love to see it. Woohoo! Thank you guys for sending over your gadgets. Uh, okay, with that, let's move on to the letter! Our letter of the week is from uh, Alexis in Puerto Rico. Hi, Dick and Chad. Hello from Puerto Rico. I'm a bit off schedule watching your podcast. I just saw episode 1580. It's just a few weeks ago. I bought the same watch the very same day you guys add that episode. This was the smartwatch that uh, Chad had. Uh, I agree with you that the under $20 price is great. You would agree more if you see that now the price is $8.59. What? What? I think you will agree even more and yeah. be angrier if I told you I bought mine for $2.00. And 44 cents. This can't be real. <laughs> With free shipping. Wait, th- that's $2.44. What? I know, but you know what? He, he didn't actually send the links to these. And I went back to the one you showed, and it's still, I don't know where, I did not find it for $8.59. For yeah. Huh. But those the, that is the watch. I mean, yeah. I, I don't I don't doubt that he found it. I thought he was I, I was I didn't do the math in my head. I thought he was saying that he bought the it came in a three pack. Uh, oh, 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 right. I right. wasn't no, doing yeah. the math in my head. Um, huh? Interesting. Now wait a second. If there's more, uh, I've not received it. I do have an Android phone. I'll let you know how it works and and send you a video. So Alex, Alex Perez, Alex, if you're watching or when you listen to this episode, uh, please send us a video. So here it us- is. I found it. I just, you did find it for $2? I, I Googled the, the thing, okay, but, and I got it for $8.59, very similar to his $8.59. But you but couldn't find the one for two forty four, right? Two forty four. He may. Here we go. We we may be able to. Oh, thirty new for two. You have to click that little button. Oh. I can get it for two bucks. Oh my! <laughs> you gotta so that? so. The Amazon does this. Is is they'll have the Amazon price that they have at their warehouse, but then they'll also have. This uh, in the marketplace where you could go and get new or used from wow. the marketplace. Now, wh- now, how long does it say shipping is? Probably, probably four to six weeks, right? Does uh, it say? Da, 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 da. It's free shipping. It doesn't. Uh, oh, arrives between August tenth and August fifteenth. So wow, in that's about pretty two fair. weeks. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Oh, ships from Florida. Yeah, look at that. It's free. Free oh, shipping. Yeah, I, I, I just. This is just unbelievable that you can get that watch for two bucks. Yeah. I That's, mean, I, I thought it was I, a bargain at I, 16. I, I can't buy milk for two bucks. That's available everywhere. God. How is this supply and demand working here? That I we don't get a know. $2 oh, and it's a Lexus. I keep saying now. It's a Lexus. Uh, that is. That is crazy. You used to call it. <laughs> Uh, it is amazing. It that is, is amazing. amazing. I'm, uh, we're both just speechless. Okay, everybody <laughs> go out, 
buy one of these, uh, and then you don't have a smartwatch. Why not? Uh, this is the black yeah, version. Yeah, give it to kids. Seriously, let them you know let them track their pedometer and stuff. What? That's crazy. Uh, you know what's amazing is like I'm gonna buy a, these, give them away as Christmas gifts. I was just gonna say. You look like you're wearing the latest tech, even if it doesn't do much. <laughs> uh, well, Alibaba, Alibaba can't even sell them. No, for that. AliExpress. Alibaba needs nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, Alibaba is the uh, is the site where uh, Chinese manufacturers can put up their own goods, and yeah. normally this is where you find all of the cheapest stuff. Yeah, and eight dollars. Alexis, that is. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing that you found it for two bucks. I think we found our new our new disco ball. Remember the disco ball that we did years ago, two years, yes, a year yes, ago? Yes, yes, yes. I uh, think you paid twenty, right? I paid twenty three or something. Twenty three. Then a, I then I found it for nine. I yeah. originally bought another one for six and probably I mean if you Alexis could buy a finds, dozen and uh, have uh, yeah. plenty to give away. Alexis is probably buying those for 59 cents. Yeah, absolutely. It's free shipping. Well, I'd also like to apologize for anyone who has an Amazon Alexa, because <laughs> I'm sure that that's going off a few times. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, well, uh, here, I'm, let me grab that link, and I'll put it in our uh, show notes. Okay, good. And good. Uh, you, I, it, it'll, it'll send you to that product page's uh, Amazon Marketplace, where you'll be able to... Uh, <laughs> to choose that that is crazy that is insane well thank you uh, alexis for sending that over uh don't forget you can send in uh letters again to mail at uh om at, at gizwiz.tv tv <laughs> and we we always we need letters it was super that uh alexis's letter came uh today so it was great perfect uh, let's talk a little bit about how awesome our patrons are over at patreon.com. Uh, Patreon is a place, it's a platform for independent content creators like us, like the Giz yes, Wiz, yes. Uh, to set up a page and have patrons uh, donate to us to give us a tip, to give us a little bit something back uh, for the show that we make. Big, big, big thank you to all of our patrons over our Patreon uh, you can find uh, our page at patreon.com slash gizwiz. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash gizwiz. And uh, big, big thank you. They just uh, helped you know, decide my crappy corner for the month. So, uh, you know, if you are a patron, you get to decide the fate of this show as well. Uh, don't also forget, don't forget to head on over to gizwiz.biz. We're, are we already a month down? Is that true? We're halfway? Yes, yes, we're already, we have like, uh, I guess, three weeks and three days, something like that, to play this game. Oh my gosh. So, play What the Heck Is It over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, it's right there on the sidebar, once you scroll down just a bit. Uh, and there is the gadget. We were trying to figure out what this thing is this is the whole gadget it's not just a not just a, a, a little bit of it um and uh to me it's uh it's it's pretty easy to to tell uh what this gadget is uh it is an easy bake oven tray uh for doritos uh that is uh <laughs> what that is is an easy bake oven tray for doritos uh if you have an idea if you have a suggestion um, or you think you actually know what it is, uh, go ahead and guess. Uh, there's an email right there on the page. Send over your guesses. There's 12 Mad Magazines of the, uh, the newest uh, Mad Magazine, uh, signed by Dick himself for correct answers, but 24 Double the Mad Magazines for hilarious, silly, ridiculous, creative answers. So uh, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Also, make sure that you watch the show live. We are schedule free for the next like a month and a half. We're yes. gonna be, we're gonna be doing the show at the exact same time. So uh, over at gizwiz.tv, that's the website for the show. Uh, you can see us live. There we are live right now. You can join the chat room right below it. 
We record at around uh, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time uh, here on the show, or here on the, here on the YouTube, here on the live stream. Uh, you can also, if you don't catch us live, subscribe on iTunes in HD, SD, or audio, or on YouTube so you never miss a show. And thanks big, big time for subscribing. Also on our uh, website, you can find show notes to all the shows. Pro tip, you can click the name of the gadget to be taken uh, to gizwiz.biz and uh, see the notes that Dickie D wrote up, or you can click the link over on the side to be taken to the product where you can find that product. Fantastic. Show notes written up by our producer, Josh. So big, big thanks to you. I think... Does that wrap it up? Do, you, do we have anything else we got to talk about? No. Nope. Well, we will see you next week. I'll be here.